Right, so today I'm going to explain how to add finishing touches to your character illustrations. So once you finish, uh, once we finish our coloring our character illustrations, um, it's time to add finishing touches to make it look even better. So it depends on the look that um, you want to achieve. So this method is uh, usable in various softwares, uh, be it in Procreate or Clip Studio or Photoshop. But today I'll be um, demonstrating this in Procreate. Right, so let's say we have done our coloring of uh, my character illustrations. And there's actually a few methods to do this. So first of all, um, we have to duplicate and merge all the layers. Character layers. Flatten it, and so I have my uh, character layer. So what I do next is I can. Go to my color balance and tweak the overall color. So there are shadow, mid tones, highlights. Um, I usually go to start with mid tones, and as you can see, I am adjusting the character's overall color so that uh, the colors for the character look more coherent, cohesive, coherent. So I'm adding some more blue and cyan. Now that's mid-tones, now I can go to the shadows, maybe tune a little bit more blue, red. And for highlights, I like to go with a little bit of yellow and now you can see the before and after it depends on what you want to achieve All right so this is the first method and let's go back So the second method is, uh, okay, we start with uh, merging the character layer, um, same as before, and now we use, uh, we create a new multiply layer or a new overlay layer. So for this, this uh, demonstration, I'll use overlay. I, I like to create focus on the character's upper body so usually I, I'll use a dark blue color and color it using overlay Oops. clip it and I'll just use a big big soft brush Just color in the dark blue. So you can see here, the top of the character is uh, bright and the bottom is slightly darker. And you can experiment with this as you like. So in Procreate, there's no gradient tool, 
that's why I'm using a big soft brush but in Clip Studio or Photoshop you can just use the, the gradient tool So that's the cool, cool color, and I can add another, another layer. Let's say I use uh, another overlay layer with a warm color from above. Something like that. So there's cool and warm color, then I will just tweak the opacity or change the layer mode if, if you would. Hard light. Hard light looks nice. And maybe you can tweak the colors some more yeah so that's the second method so this is uh, what I usually like to use adding warm and cool colors to the to the character and finally um, adding bloom effect so this is uh, usually done for characters with backlight so what I recommend is uh, using a white or light background and on another layer just use a big soft brush and just softly paint over the character's edges so by doing this you're like you're creating like a bloom effect from behind the character but make sure not to overdo this so it looks <clears throat> it looks dreamy and kind of nice and last but not least uh, what you can do as a final final touch is uh, what I like to do is I use this copy canvas function in procreate and paste it's essentially um, duplicating the whole canvas and then I'll tweak the overall curves just to adjust the final um, overall brightness and just adjust to your liking That's all. That was how to add finishing touches to your character illustrations.